Welcome to In Bed with Natasha. Here in my bed, I've got Tizzy Beck, which has been a well awaited, long awaited guest. Uh, here she is. I got you in on a Monday morning. I bet you're loving that. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling even good. though I was thinking Monday morning, I was thinking for a moment, I didn't even remember what day of the week it was actually. It's Monday morning. Yeah, okay, good. Because I've had one of those weekends as well, and I know you have, so because of work, exactly. So you're a New Yorker that moved to Milan. And I am. And you've become really well known in the city because of but yeah, because of Tizzy's. You opened up Tizzy's, which who are you guys who don't know Tizzy, she opened up one of the first New York uh, well New York hangout restaurants yeah, so. in the Vivi, yeah. So where did this idea come from? Well, let's see, I was living in Milan for about three or four years. So and I never met you before yeah. ever. So crazy. And then I just missed a place like this. I was like, there's no place that's just chill and you can hang out, you yeah. can eat, you can not eat. You always bump to someone you know. Just a cool place. And um, I said, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And uh, I always wanted to have a restaurant. Yeah. I was always obsessed with food. I mean, I moved to Italy. Yeah. That was part of the reason for food and just traveling. And I was like, oh, you know what? I've always talked about it. I would yeah. love to do it. I could do it. You know? How difficult, because a lot of people, I guess, who watch the show and don't live in Italy don't understand the Italian bureaucracy. It's pretty difficult. I mean, to be honest, I get this question all the time. I think anything is hard. Yeah. I think anything you really want to do is a challenge. If you want to be, I don't know, I mean, even be a teacher or a doctor, I mean, you have to study, you have to go to school. I think anything is difficult. Um, I just was so hell-bent on doing it. But yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it was difficult, but... It was just like anything. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but still, though, that was but start, do you yeah. have like Italian partners who just go in there the, as a no. New Yorker on your own and just challenge us? Like, mean, honestly, like, I'm 100% by myself. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Is well, I like, had, no, I had a husband and he, yeah. was, I, he was really, really helpful, but what happened to him? Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, he got lost in the restaurant. <laughs> it wasn't no, but no, I mean, listen, it's a lot of sacrifice and stuff. No, but he was super helpful. But it was, I'm, I mean, it was, it was all me. Yeah, it's all me. Like I was saying, anything is hard. And to be any, to be, to be successful in anything, is yeah, hard. it's a lot of work. Basically, yeah. Really. So I mean, uh, I was just, I mean, there was just nothing that was gonna stop me. That was it. I mean, even like conversations I had, you know, I was like, open restaurant. They're like, you do what? I've never worked in a restaurant, not for one day. Oh my god. So they were like, what are you talking about? I'm like, no, I'm going to open a restaurant. And then I think people just got on board, you know, yeah. showed them my plans and my ideas. And I'm like, I'm doing it, and I'm doing it, and I'm doing it. And then people, it's kind of like it snowballed. Yeah, you so know? did you use like a certain particular model from New York to open I mean, I had yoga? places that I loved, and I had places, I knew what I wanted to, I mean, I, I, I mean, it's like, I knew what this place was. Yeah. I knew what it was going to look like, I yeah. knew what it was going to feel like. So it was yeah. just kind of, you know, putting it into action and, and seeing it come to fruition. But yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I had a, a, a really, really clear idea on what Did it was you know it was going to be so successful straight away? I, I, get, I get that question too, and of course I did. Or else I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> it's true though, I mean, you don't do something like, I think it's, it's going to be a big shit. No, I knew it was going to be amazing. Yeah, because like, literally <laughs> you have like, queues of people. I mean, it's, at the weekend it's impossible to get a seat. Yeah, I mean, it's, I think at first it was like this trendy thing. Yeah. But I think, I mean, the quality's there, I'm yeah. there, um, it's, I think Tizzy's is bigger than the food. I mean, the food is amazing, I was yeah. going to come back, but I think it's bigger than the food. Yeah. It's become this, like, part of the community, and I think it's kind of set up this trend of more relaxed way of eating in Italy. Yeah. And, uh, so I think that's why it's, it has the longevity, not, I mean, it's not such, it's almost three years, it's not an insane amount no, of longevity. No, but there's, like, like, a lot there, and, and, you know, there's been such an emergence of all these other hamburger joints throughout the yeah. city, basically, and they've just, like, <laughs> popped insane. up. It's really there's, insane. like, everyone's <laughs> eating, I'm like, I don't even eat meat, I mean, how many hamburgers? I don't eat hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you don't. <laughs> I remember you telling me like, I don't eat hamburgers every day. No, I mean, you know, so you're not drinking Belvedere every day either. No, I can't. So yeah, is that for breakfast? For breakfast, of course. <laughs> but no, um, I mean, I like hamburgers, but it's, it's, I think it's more than a hamburger. It's a way of eating. It's just a way of like dining out. For me in Milan, my big problem was like the food is insane. The way of, you know, the Italian way of eating is insane. But I think going out is more than just eating. You know, yeah. it's like there should be a certain vibe in the air and. A different energy in a restaurant. Like being a New Yorker, though, we went out. That's our going out. Yeah. You know, restaurants and stuff. Yeah. And I think that's a big part of Tizzy's. I mean, the burgers is kick ass. Yeah. You know, that that's that's a given. 
But it's, you know. It's but it's like an easiness of the fact that you can also just set the bar and have Absolutely. a drink. You come by yourself or come with friends. Yeah. And you're always going to bump someone you know or strike up a conversation. You know, yeah. If you want to. If you want to sit by yourself and read your magazine yeah. or do your computer, you can do that too. But it's, it's, it's a New York spot. It's like, you know, it's a New York kind of... So what do you see? I mean, is it like a Navi? Is a Navili hangout really, which is yeah, a Navi sure. area, which is all, sure. which has really become like the hip style. <laughs> but it wasn't like that before. It was I there. Know. It wasn't, I mean, I I never really. I mean, I, I you know I would go there for only yeah. that though. But it's it's like even the Jamin I was bumping right now. Yeah. The whole area yeah, is it's really so nice a big change, you know? Yeah. So, but then you have I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah, but then, well, you kind of want to, like, the founder, you become yeah. like one of the godmothers of the area. Oh, they say, Glenn, you remember something that old. <laughs> no, no, it's more about Maybe being like an aunt. It's more <laughs> being like an influencer, do you know what I mean? I well, you know, for me, it's like I just saw this need. Yeah, I saw this need, and uh, obviously there was a need because yeah. now there's everywhere you look, there's a burger place. Exactly. It's like nauseating, it's okay. Yeah. But then again, it, you know, it's not burgers aren't a trend. Like just like pizza isn't a trend. It's just another type of food. Yeah, exactly. And I think every city should have you know diversity. Has one exactly. And Milan is definitely missing that. For yeah, sure. You know, so now it's now I think there's like this new little thing going on. But it's good to see. It's yeah, good to see you know different things. The Brazilian, Japanese thing going sure. on. You know, yeah. but then you open up a second place as yeah. well. So tell me about how well that's how that's going. And um, that. it's going well. I opened up Rookies, this yeah. week, an American sports yeah. bar. I just you know um this. Like opportunity came to me, and the space is amazing. Yeah, uh, it was near Tizzy's, and I just thought it was another extension, another natural yeah. extension of kind of doing this American food. Yeah, but I mean, it's like thing. one of the things I was quite curious is when you open it, it's like it's so close to Tizzy's. But I love that. Yeah, was that hard though to get that started because of that? People were just no. like, oh, I'm just going to Tizzy's. No, it's it's. I mean, it, it's different. Mm. It's not Tizzy's yeah. at all. It's um. It's a sports bar. Yeah. I mean, Tizzy's is the yeah, yeah. thing from a sports bar. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> it's like, what's the opposite? But um, it just seems like a natural extension. Yeah. Of this a kind of American, New York style way of yeah. eating. Yeah, you yeah. You know, watching a game, having a beer, eating nachos. Yeah. Know, it's not like it's not like you know sit down for the first second and and don't yeah. take them home. Yeah, yeah. So it just and it just seemed like a normal. Like, so now it's been pretty crowded lately, basically. Yeah, and it, you know, it's, it was odd because it, for me as an American, like sports bars. It's just, our, even if you don't like sports, you just go there. Why, why aren't they over to sports? I like, like, yeah. know, for real though. And it's it's been a hard, um, like a hard egg to crack. Yeah. I don't know what else to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. In a sense, like Italians don't watch sports that way. But we've got a really interesting like mix of international people. And now it's like, it's booming until it's, you know, happy. Yeah, because now it's like, well, sports when it's like the season of sports yeah. and the games. No, but they're getting the way it should be. Like, you know, you could sit there and, and drink and eat. Yeah. And, be with friends and then order more food and then have another beer and you know yeah. just hang out. Even though I don't like sports, you know, like, no, I really don't. But it's like fun just to be in that energy. Okay, we're in our hamburger. No, in the sense that like I like playing sports. Yeah, but I don't really, I don't care who wins or lose. You know, yeah. that doesn't affect my life. Yeah, but just to hang out. You know, even like you know, if the Mets are playing the Yankees, we go to the, the watch yeah. the game because it's fun. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a, a social thing. Yeah. Isn't it? So for me, that's why I was like, I want to do that. Yeah, it's like, oh. I guess it's more of a, an American thing, but like in the way it's that totally they, American. you know, they are yeah, getting that She's like, I want wings. I'm like, what's sports for? They'll go to the stadium here and watch football. That's yeah. what they do, basically. And it's okay. You know, it's getting there. So, so now you feel like Milan is your home, though. It's my second home. Yeah. You know, your home is always your home. Yeah, my of home. course. But you I mean, like even sometimes I look around, I'm like, everything looks so weird. Yeah, I'm not your... <laughs> yeah. How but do you like, you know, the, 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 you know, the... the the, the the light plugs. Like, oh yeah. For me, when you put the plug in, it's like it's wrong. Exactly. It's like, why is it like this? <laughs> so, but no, it's definitely my home. I love Milan. I love Italy. Yeah. You know, don't get me wrong. I bitch about it. Everyone bitch about where you know everything. But I, you know, deep down, I love it. I love the life I created here. I love my friends. I love my little. My yeah, little Gio, you yeah. Know, I love my bike. So. Would you be I'm thinking cool. about doing something in another city in Italy? Uh, it's hard because I really, uh, like I, I had I. Played around with Rome and yeah. so on, but they're not my cities. Like I don't, I don't like know people. You know, Milan. Know. I knew, I knew what they needed because yeah. I was, I was one of them. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I, I knew who my customer would be. Yeah. I knew what they needed, so it was really organic in that sense. If I go to other cities, you know, listen. At the end of the day, it's business, mm. and I would love to expand my business, but it would, yeah, I would, I would. You know, I'm thinking more like Sweden or. Like abroad, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'm like, alright, immediately. Somewhere that you would go, because you feel like you'd need to be there, basically, as well. Yeah, or just different cities, you know, like yeah. Barcelona, or yeah. you know, things like that, yeah. Berlin. But in terms of Italy, 
I don't know. It has to, yeah, you know. Yeah, it has to feel right. right. And like, like Rome was, was almost going to happen, but I was like, I don't really want to be in Rome all that much. <laughs> it's true, though. It's not my city. It's not like, you know, I don't really... Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the same says to me, all right, like, I love the idea of it, but actually the reality If someone it, came in and was like, all right, boom, we're going to give you this, we want to do this, okay, let's do it. You sure, know? but you right. have to, like, move your life there, and you got, like, part no, of, I'm like... I'm not moving my life to Rome, that's Part of sure. what you do is also a lifestyle, of, like, people go to Tizzy, they know they're going to see you, it's, no. it's, like, part of it. <laughs> yeah, but it is, you know, people, as you said before, people come there, they, they come to see you as well, yeah. as much as they come to the place, you know? Yeah, that's, that's, you it's know. become a social, like, hangout as well. Totally. I mean, I know, like, to a fault. <laughs> I, like, I know, like, a bunch of people that, like, are there, you know, every day, basically, yeah. eating, you know. Because it's also, like, it's a little family, it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's just, like, a little kind of home away from home, especially if you're a foreigner living here, you don't have, eat, because I had no place, I had no place that was, like, where you yeah. went and he's, like, to hire the bartender to shoot the shit with someone, I didn't have that place at home. Yeah. So, I kind of, you know, it's a place, <clears throat> now it's a place I have for other people. Yeah. I mean, also for me, too, I mean, it's my life, I'm there, you know. Absolutely. So exactly, but it's the same thing. So, but you're also doing the catering as well. Yeah, yeah. And how's that going? You do the mini hamburgers. We did. We did a bit of that together. That we was did. fun. It was super fun. Uh, it, it's it's a lot of work. Yeah. It, yeah, it works. I've done you know I've done some amazing parties. I, you know I did a great event for Ray Ban at Plastic. That was great. Yeah. I've done a few barbecues and, yeah. and stuff. It's great. I mean I wish I could barbecue on the Navio. Yeah. Really, well, no, I was funny. I was sharing this morning and. July 4th is coming up, and I was like, well, you know, every you always have to like, yeah. kind of outdo yourself, you know that. I can't July 4th. Yeah. I was there, you know, I was at Tizzy's last July 4th. Oh my it's God, I can't believe it's coming, coming up already. Like, don't tell me you guys go already. <laughs> I'm taking the worst of American culture and brought it here. <laughs> oh my God, you just reminded me. No, yeah. but I'm thinking, you know, what could you, you know, it's really hard in Milan to, I would love to barbecue on in the video. Yeah. Like, just set up some fun stuff, but you know, that getting back to the bureaucracy shit, it's really hard. But I love a barbecue. I love. Oh, we did the um, the, the barbecue for the concert last year. Oh yeah, nice. that was yeah. Good. People love it. It's so fun. have you got? So you've got Expo coming up. Is that exciting for you being um, in Milan and with the Expo? You know, it's like this like kind of thing where everyone's like talking and talking. Yeah. So it's like I hope it's not a dud. I hope it's not like. Yeah. You know what's high expectations? So it's yeah. like, I don't know, but it's all about food. Yeah. So I'm trying to get in on that. Exactly. I was totally. saying you do to do something special. I mean, I mean, talk to the few uh, with the concert and stuff yeah. like that. But it's all very. Talky. Okay. Yeah. We'll see All right what then. You know, maybe like pay some yeah, people talk off. The talk. You know, <laughs> the Italian style. <laughs> well, okay. So I'll be there for the July celebration. Yeah, yeah. I hope you are. For Thanks sure. so much. No, we're really to bed. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. See you guys. Ciao. <laughs>